Okay, so this video is going to show you uh, the steps required to make a chair. Um, I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, we're going to use metric units, which is your choice if you want to change to different units. Uh, the document settings are right here, and you can change your units just by clicking on uh, inches on millimeters. Uh, so, typically we work in millimeters just because of the metric system and all. So the first step is to take a look at what we're doing here. So we've got basically four legs, we've got a cushion, we've got um, a base, and then we've got some round, I'm going to call them dowels, but there's probably a special name for it. There's going to be a back to the chair, which I think is a 10 degrees slant. And then there's some fancy woodwork on the top. So we'll show you how to make that. Okay, so the first step would be to start a design. And um, this is a, something that I don't know a lot about, but I'm going to use it to make the cushion. And so we're going to set up a box. And uh, we're just going to click on the front. So this is where our sketch is going to be. We're going to use center and we're going to go in one direction. So. I previously made this video, but I, I messed up on the, the units. I thought that I was drawing in centimeters and I was drawing in millimeters, so it became very small. So we're just going to start with 400 uh, millimeters, so that's 40 centimeters, and 400 the other way. So now it looks like we lost our screen, but what we want to do is um, type in 400. So now we've got our shape. We're going to hit enter and it's as simple as that. So we've got a cushion. In this um, you can push and pull on, on parts of it to make it a different shape. But we're going to cheat and we're going to just keep that as a general shape. And when it comes to making it flatter on the bottom, we're going to use a method that we probably used before. Okay, so we're going to turn our origins on just so that we can use them conveniently. And that shape was 400 by 400, so it doesn't really matter which one you use of these two planes, but we're going to offset the plane. So we've got um, this little drop down here, and the first option is going to be offset plane. We're later going to use this angle plane. So we've got this. We're going to drag it out. Now, it's 400 by 400 so once we get past 200 so 200 would actually be the edge of it so anything past that would work for our particular application you can turn your body back on so we've got our original cushion we've with our origins here and then we've got the place where we want to draw our sketch so we want to really make sure that we're drawing on that surface and it actually is working pretty good um, I'm gonna draw just a, a big box or a big rectangle and we're going to extrude this to cut the bottom off. You can dimension it from the, the center of our axis. And so right now, <coughs> excuse me, is it's 40 millimeters, which is about a tenth of our shape. So you can just eyeball it and say, okay, is that good or not? If we type in a different number, it's going to shrink down. Uh, so that's 40. Uh, you can increase it or whatnot. It's totally up to you. So we're going to go finish our shape. We're going to turn to an ortho view. Uh, that's not the one I wanted. So we're going to probably go from that view. And now we're just going to push that through. And it's going to naturally turn from join to cut. So that will give us the shape of a bottom of our cushion. You can actually add a fillet at this stage. You just escape out of your move tool. Go to fillet and if we click um, we can maybe get a better view from this side. And one es hit tap escape to get one side of our move tool. And we just want a little bit of a curve so maybe 25 mils will work for that. Okay so now we've got our cushion finished. And um, at this point, we're going to stop the video, but I think I'll save first. So make sure that you're in the right project. Um, this is actually called Cushion. 
and we'll call it cushion two um, just because I screwed up on the first one. Okay, so that's the first step. If you want to add color, you can, or if you want to make it into a component, you can do a right click. You can make it into a component. You can triple click here, or you can um, do a click and then a right click and rename it. And this could be cushion. Uh, you can give it a two if you want. Okay, and um, to make it a different color, you can go to appearance and there's a fabric tab so you could make it any color you want you could make it leather um, there's not really a lot of choices in there let's see what else we got plastic everybody loves plastic furniture I don't know I had a green before miscellaneous what I got air Okay, so let's just go to a cream colored fabric. And, oh, it's got even a fabric design on it. Okay, so that's how you create your cushion. Um, and we'll stop here.